You know something, guys? I've always said Nora Knight was the best character in Warframe, and I was never wrong because this Nightwave of Nora's Mix Volume 4 has given us two spicy weapon augments that you're going to want to get as soon as you can. Batacore and Occupore were already good weapons. Well, more so the Batacore was definitely a good weapon. And augments are all about quality of life, but god Damn, I was not expecting the synergy between the two of them now. The Okikor is your horde clearer, clearing rooms with absolute effortless ease. All you need to go and do is get your first kill because that will require you to aim. But from there onwards, you practically just spin your reticle around in any direction you want to and watch enemies drop like sacks of shh. The Batacor is your one shot switch in what lacks for the Okikor, the Batacor makes up for and vice versa. So, the Batacore, you want to go ahead and kill at least three enemies with the weapon to build up your maximum alt fire charges. And then you can put the weapon away until it's needed. But let's just say that the time is needed right now. Switch back from the Okikor, back over to your Batacore, and alt fire, unleashing devastating damage to get rid of whatever was causing you a problem that the Okikor could not deal with. Then, build up your charges again and repeat. The Okikor augment especially is un real it's one thing giving us ability to replenish ammo because well this was the main problem of okiko in the first place but to then add critical and status to each active tendril just amplified this weapon from yeah yeah it's all right to oh mother of yeah. Now, if you combine these two complementary weapons with a complementary offensive Warframe, like Jaya, for example, and you got something quite special on your hands. Even in Steel Path, enemies are hardly causing an issue to this dynamic duo, and I could definitely say I'm a fan of synergies like this. Uh, Mr. YouTuber, show build, please. All right, all right, let's give you my example for the Occupore first. Insert your sentient surge mods when you acquire it from Nightwave to kick things off. From there, the additions of damage, whether it be from mods or arcanes, is up to you. Multi-shot, critical mods, elemental mods. Now, I went with Viral and Heat paired with my Cascadia Arcane to increase the damage. It works wonders against most enemies. And most importantly, a cheeky increase of that beam length with the Runius extension. Now, it should go without saying that if you prefer to mix things up, then please do. Not all builds complement all playstyles, so find out what's working best for you with a little testing. As for the Batacore build, here is my example. Again, start off with the sentient barrage mods. It's going to kick off the builds, then focus on lots of raw damage. Flat damage like serration, multi-shot, critical mods. Now, I would recommend 90% elemental mods instead of the 60% because they give more damage per shot. As for the arcane, I went with deadhead due to the headshot multiplier damage increase provided. Well, that's if I don't miss a shot, then we're looking pretty good. Now, I do have a ribbon on my build, which is an increase to multi shot, and it ramps up my critical damage to 950%. That's not even including the sentient barrage augment added on top of it yet. I will be honest with these builds and combinations. I personally think the Occupore got the better of two deals available. When we're thinking of clearing multiple hordes of enemies, with little to no effort it's just too good to not use right now it's honestly up there with some of the incarnate weapons that just came out recently so i do like the battle augment and in no way is it bad however i do believe that this is a contested slot when it comes to one shot primary weapons looking at you felux so it's good for the weapon but i do see myself contesting against it but either way, there you go, guys. Two weapons that definitely complement each other in an all-rounder when it comes one into kill, whether it be single target one shot in or AoE enemy clearing. These bad boys have you covered. And that about wraps up this video, guys. Keeping it pretty short and sweet so that you guys can get the information you need to try them out for yourselves. If you do find some neat ways to use them, let me know inside the comment section because I'd love to go and hear your thoughts and try out more with this dynamic duo. But as always, guys, I will catch you guys again in the next video subscribe if you're new and i'll be seeing you guys then